Hello, you all right? Hello, mate, you all right? Oh, God, what are we training today, then? Um, to be honest with you, I'm thinking of going alone. You are joking, aren't you? No, I'm, I'm going rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back to another episode with us with the Review Bros. Uh, thank you for checking in again. Um, today we're going to be reviewing a pre-workout and that pre-workout is from a company called I Prevail. So a big thank you to them for sending this out. It is called Rogue Pre-Workout. Um, we've got it in Bomb Pop flavour. Looks cool. Um, a big thank you to them for sending this out. Um, we're going to let you know our 100% honest feedback on how it goes. Um, we've used it a good few times in the past. We're gonna roll with it again today for legs. You know, let's see how this comes together. All right, moving on to the taste segment with Rogue. So, comes in watermelon splash. Mango, mango mania. mania. <laughs> and what we got here is bomb pop, which is arguably the nicest one. I mean, we haven't tried, so obviously we're gonna be commenting scores on bomb pop today. We haven't tried Mango Mania, but we have tried Watermelon Splash. Mm. Um, myself, I'm not the biggest fan of watermelon. I wouldn't eat watermelon from the supermarket. Uh, but nonetheless, as because I know what watermelon is supposed to taste like and what is a good watermelon pre-workout, I'd say it was quite a good, good, solid score. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely above average. It was probably for a four and a half, really, for a watermelon-based, yeah. you know. Not bad at all. Right, this is Bomb Pop. Right, guys, that's it. Bomb pop, here it goes. Let's pop this bomb. I don't mind it, I think that's nice. I think it's quite nice. It's got a slightly powdery consistency yeah. aftertaste, but flavour wise, really nice. Hmm. I'm trying to think what to liken it to. Like sweets. It tastes like just like, yeah, like it said, like the ice lollies, really. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Like Craig said, a bit of a chalky consistency, but mm. definitely not bad. Um, I'd go around a four. I would say a four out of five. Mm. Simply because you could, you definitely won't struggle with getting it down. The flavour is quite nice. You know, no, no problems here. Yeah, Honestly, no not bad. Four out of five is a good score, isn't it? Yeah. So. All right, price time with Rogue. Tell them how it is. Money, money, money. So, uh, I Prevail is a US company. Um, you can get a hold of this straight off of the website, iprevail.com. Um, the tub itself is straight off the bat. It's forty nine ninety nine US dollars. So it's a bit steeper than average. 30 servings. It is 30 serving tub. Um, that translates to 38 pounds and 31 pence to be precise in UK um, pound coins. Um, now, obviously 30 serving tub, and it is actually a 30 serving tub. There's none of this two scoops, 15 servings malarkey. Yeah. You know, it is what it says on the tin. It is actually 30 servings, um, which actually works out to be one pound and 27 pence ago, or one dollar 66 ago. Um, so it's not bad at all, actually. That works out at a three out of five. And it only just misses a three and a half out of five. So solidly above average. So yeah, pound 27 ago or a dollar 66 ago, three out of five. Okay guys, we, we worked with um, iprevailsubs.com um, to try and get you guys a discount code, which we successfully did. Um, it is however important to note that from the date this is posted, which is the 1st of May, 2019, it only lasts for one week. So um, don't sleep on it. No, basically. so if you want this pre-workout, you've got one week to use our code, and our code gets you 20% off, which is a considerable amount. Um, you know, it lowers the tub price down all the way down to 39.98 US dollars, which is approximately, well, it's 30 pounds and 64 for UK um, guys which is, a, you know, it's 20% off, it's a, it's a good amount. And it actually lowers the um, pricing score to a, a 
from, well, high as it should I say, yeah. to a three and a half out of five. Just and it only four. just misses a four out of five. Um, and the price per serving with the 20% discount off is one pound and two pence per serving or one dollar and 33 cents per serving. So it's, a, it's, you know, it's a considerable improvement. Um, guys, I'd suggest being quick on the code use because it's one week only. We don't get anything for it. No. We just ask these companies to give us a code. You know, yeah. it makes our reviews look a bit more appealing at the end of the day, doesn't it? Yeah, so um, if you like the look of our review, jump on it, basically. And we're going to put the code in the screen below, which is review 20% and the percent is a symbol. Yeah. So, like I say, it's below now. All right, it's effects time with Rogue. So let's get into the label and um, see what it's all about, shall we? Magnifying glasses. <laughs> 30 um, servings per tub, like we said, and the gram of the scoop is six. So it is a, a lower gram. Small scoop little scoop. Yeah, a little cute one. So <laughs> let's get into it. Um, right, so beta alanine is at 1.5 grams. Um, so beta alanine, you guys know, um, is responsible for that itching and tingling feeling you may experience 10 minutes after taking mm -hmm. a pre-workout. Um, for us, we love it. it we, we know it gives that kick in, you know, the, we know it's starting to work this pre-workout. Mm. Uh, behind the scenes, it's also responsible for improving your muscular endurance as it buffers lactic acid, so it is going to help you keep going longer. Mm. 1.5 grams, however, is what I would consider to be very much underdosed. I like to see um, 3.2 grams mm. um, per, you know, my pre-workout. Um, Having said that, I prevail have come out and said that they have deliberately done a lower dose of that for people who don't necessarily like that itching and tingling feeling. But still um, want to get some in your system. But still has the a benefit of it um, working in the background now. Whether that's true or not is, you know, it's up to you guys to decide what, what are you wanting from a pre-workout. If you don't like that itching and tingling feeling, then perhaps this won't bother you. Um, you know, I normally like to see more... It is what it is. You guys can decipher whether you think that that is. You know, we can only go by what is on the label. All right, next up, that brings us on to L-citrulline at one gram. Um, L-citrulline is a, a nitric oxide booster within mm. the bloodstream, put simply. Um, it's going to be responsible for the pumps in the gym. Um, it's, we, we love it. You know, We really do enjoy that. Um, however, we again, on, the, on this side, it is underdosed. We like to see 4,000 to 6,000 milligrams or more. Some even have gone up to 8. Before, yeah, we've had up yeah. to 8,000. This is obviously 1,000. So 4 is generally the lowest end of, of what working. So I would argue that it will be working in terms of pumps very, very, very minimally. Yeah. Um, so It's like a top-up scenario of, yeah. of you, you having to take a separate pump product so yeah. that would just top up whatever you're already taking it won't do much in its own right in here yeah so it is underdosed um you know we'll keep moving through the label next up to actually help with the l-citrulline by the looks of it is hydromax at a gram as well um hydromax is responsible for um hydrating the body it loads water into the muscle cell as well similar to creatine um it's also been shown to improve athletic performance within the gym um, especially during exercise. So it is a nice ingredient. It's one you don't see that often. We have seen it in pre-workouts before, yeah, however. Before. Um, the effective dose is one gram to two grams. Most of the ones we've had in the past are at the two grams. This is what I put at the lowest effective dose. So it will work. Um, but at the lower end of doing the job, basically. But again, yeah, it'll yeah. Just, it will supplement the L-citrulline, however. Uh, next up, we have caffeine and hydrous, two fifty milligrams. Um, caffeine and hydrous is a is a main stimulant. You guys all know your caffeine from your coffee and your energy drinks and your pre workouts, guys. Um, two fifty is what I consider a nice dose. It's not the highest. Do not get me wrong. Under any stretch, we've seen them go up to five six hundred. Mm. But two fifty is suitable for pretty much everyone yeah it's, it's hitting the sweet spot of the market really yeah. yeah we like to have 300 so you know 50 milligrams is yeah you know that's so minor so it will definitely still work mm. uh next up we have dmha 200 milligrams a nice dose of dmha yeah you know we often often see 200 milligrams is the norm basically well, on, probably on a bit money. more than a norm yeah so um this is slightly more dose than normal 
do not get me wrong, we've seen some higher in the past than 200. We've seen up them to, go up to 300. Yeah. Um, but we've also seen them stay as low as 100. Mm. Um, so 200 is nice. Yeah. Um, that is a um, a stimulant, a heavy stimulant at that. Um, a nervous system stimulant as well. It will be responsible for improving your cognitive abilities, you know, your focus, your concentration, your ability to stay focused in the gym and know what you will need to do. Mm. Get um, the job done. Yeah, get the job done stuff. Next up, we have decaffeine malate, 125 milligrams. All right, there we go then, guys. That's a nice top-up. Didn't mm. realise that. Um, decaffeine malate is a just basically a slower digesting form of caffeine. So as that 250 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous starts to taper off, mm. the decaffeine malate will simply meet it, and it will start giving you that energy boost yeah. towards the mid to end range as you work out. Mm. So we love seeing decaffeine malate in these pre-workouts because they're generally meaning they're non-crashing. Yeah. So once that malate stripped away, you'll probably be looking at just under 100 milligrams of caffeine, would yeah, you say? So right. you're looking at around 350 all it's in generally on 75%, the caffeine. so... Yeah, yeah. give or it's take. It's 300 to 350 total caffeine. Yeah. Uh, that brings us on to Aria Gerensis, 100 milligrams. Um, Aria Gerensis, plant extract. Um, it was, you know, it's we've seen it in a lot of pre-workouts. Mm. We do like Aria mm. Gerensis. Um, it's basically the naturally occurring form in the world of DMAA, which was, you know, um, a synthetic drug produced simply for stimulant effects, similar to that of sort of um, what you'd argue were illegal drugs, but yeah, to, give you that, <laughs> to give you that legal high. Yeah. Um, and this is the naturally occurring form. Natty. 100 milligrams um, is not, is, you know, is not a bad dose. We've, yeah. seen, we've seen them go up to 300. Yeah. But 100 is, I'd say, more normal yeah. than not. It's just topping up the uh, DMHA. Yeah, they're going to work to... really well together. Yeah. And rounding off this label, we have Astrogen, 25 milligrams. Um, that's made of two, basically, uh, Astrogen's a trademark um, sub ingredient, should I yeah. say. Uh, made of two different plants, one being uh, Panax ginseng. What's the other one? Uh, Astragulus membraceus. So basically, extract. they're highly fractionated plants. Um, they've been ground down to produce this this ingredient that is going to be responsible for helping the, you digest all the things that have come beforehand. The bioavailability. So it's similar to black pe pepper extract, but it is a more advanced form. It's going to mm. help you, you know, your intestines do the job they need to do. Um, with things such as DMHA, urea, gerensis, etc. I do like to see some form of digestive ingredient. So it's good to see a trademark one in there. So that's the label. So yeah, guys, we automatically can tell that it's underdosed in terms of pumps, mm. but it should be dosed very nicely in terms of stimulant and, and focus, yeah, okay. focus. You know, guys, we've seen brilliant labels flop and we've seen rubbish labels come together. Yeah. So let's just see how this goes in the actual gym on the real session. Um, stay tuned. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> All right, so we've just finished a good old leg day on Rogue, so we're going to let you know how we felt it, covering the three usual points, which be energy, focus, and pump. I will just say, obviously, uh, iProval have reached out to us and said they're going to do a separate pump formula um, that can be taken alone or stacked with this, so bear that in mind when we assess the pump element. Yeah, you're going to have to excuse the hair, guys. That was a hard session. Yeah. It, there's no denying it does make you train hard. Yeah. No denying. It feels heavier stimmed than what the label suggests, which is strange. It makes yeah. you um, really thirsty, doesn't it? And oh, you sweat really? and dehydrate you. My mouth's still dry now, even though I've yeah. downed a good litre of water or more. Mm. Um, so, yeah, we'll start from the beginning. Obviously, we've we have taken this a good four or five oh, yeah. times in the past, at minimum. And the, um, the beta-alanine dosing means that, quite like Aaron said, quite rightly, you don't get the itching and tingling effect. No, you don't at all. So, for those who don't like that, bonus. For those who do, you know, that it might be a downside for you. Um, so, yeah, the, the in interesting and good thing about the label to start off with is it says take 30 to 45 minutes. Mm. I would argue strongly that it's a 45 minute kick in time. Yeah, because that's um, when the focus. And uh, we've always said with these higher stim, you know, exotic stims, DMHA, DMAA, Aria Gerensis, mm. all of those salts do take longer to get digested into the system and actually start affecting the brain and cognitive ability. Definitely. So 45 minutes to an hour, you know, the longer you leave it, in my opinion, is the better it will, it will affect you. You're looking for the sweet spot, really, aren't you? Um, 
the other thing is if you are not eating a lot during the day or you take this quite early in the morning it probably will hit you harder and yeah, faster if you doubt. eat more food during the day it's going to obviously do the opposite and probably won't hit quite as hard mm. so we um gave it a 30 to 35 minutes before we left left for the gym yeah got there after about 45 minutes of it kicking in maybe even 50 minutes and mm. um, you know there's no denying that the focus does kick in I would argue after that first exercise, when you get the heart rate up a bit, it, it really that's when it really takes its toll. Yeah, you start to feel high. And um, almost like with this one, an aggressive high, which is fitting for the name, because you kind of like, get out of my way, I'm, I've got shit to do. You yeah. have that kind of mental high yeah. from it. And you um, don't want to stop and talk. It's yeah. one of those, no, I don't want to talk today. I, yeah. want, I want to just crack on with it. Almost an angry high. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would argue uh, more of an aggressive high. Um, so we've argued that there is a weak and a downside to this pre-workout and that's 90% um, of the time that I've taken it, it does make me feel sick mm. um, and you, you, it, does, it does start to bar pass. So you do have a, a period of time where you do feel sick. Mm. Um, I wouldn't argue, I'd argue that if you're in the right mindset hardcore enough then it's not going to stop you from yeah. training. It's been a bit hit and miss. Sometimes it has had that effect, sometimes it hasn't. It's mainly had it when we've done back or legs or something a bit more intense on yeah. it. And it's made us feel a bit like, oh, Jesus, like, over it, the top Yeah, high. it does. And I think it also doesn't help that chalky consistency when drinking it. It does it sort of linger. And that's what makes you feel really thirsty. I think if you, if you drink quite a lot of water through the session, then it will yeah. help you. Yeah, that will be almost a non-factor if you stay very well hydrated. And um, I also would not recommend BCAA or um, yeah. any any of the like during the training, simply because they are extra things to sit on the stomach. Mm. And this is already quite a sweet taste in pre-workout. So if you have a sweet taste in BCAAs, all of the sweetness sort of sits in your throat and it just, yeah, it's not a good mix really. Um, so let's dive into the scoring. So yeah. we're going to assess pump, energy and focus like we always do. So... We have argued that we're going to score each of those things out of five and come to an average, okay? So, we've, so uh, we'll start on pump, which we, we've sort of per ourselves say is the least important part, simply because you can gain pump from the diet, through the um, hydration levels of the body. Training volume, yeah, all sorts really. Even, the we even as much as the weather, if it's warmer then you just get more pump. Vascular, it's yeah. It's strange, but it's true. So we would say a pump, based Result on how we feel on the label, it, we would argue that it's a one out of five on pump because yeah. it's not really, it's not, let's face it, it's, it's not, not marketed towards pump. pump. It's, yeah, it's not. Does it even mention pumps on here at all on, on the thing? No. So it doesn't claim anywhere on here that, it, that it's going to get you crazy pumps. So, you know, fair play to that. They're not, you're not, you're not false advertising on the tub. Um, focus, we, we, the focus is fanta is the yeah. best part. It, I, I would argue it is a five out of five in terms of, with the best that of stimulation them. high mental mm. side. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely. Because it, it does tunnel you into training. Mm. Um, you know, that's our honest opinion. So we're going to give the focus a five out of five. Yeah. And so the, and yeah, energy on. that leaves, which we've agreed, is about a three to three and a half out of five on the energy front. So what do we have? We have a one, a 3.5 and a five. So across those three scores, what average does that bring? Um, that gives us a nine and a half out of um, well a 9.5 that added up divided by three equals um just under three and a half so we do round it up to three yeah. and a half out of five's total score which is what we're going to land on for rogue pre-workout as an overall spectrum which is you know is, is a good score we had both agreed that um if you was to take a pump alongside it which they're going to offer eventually you may well um push this bump this up by a half point to a whole point the risky side to that is money <laughs> is no actually two reasons i've just thought of what? money would obviously be bumped up there's sickness no denying factor. that the sickness factor because you're looking at extra element on the stomach lining mm. that is very true um so but if they can if they can factor that in and, and come up with some pump that yeah that has, minimizes stomach and digestive issues then yeah then you know they're onto a winner. It might just be the flavour that's particularly sweet. I mean, maybe the other flavours aren't as bad, so maybe it doesn't have the... Well, we had it with watermelon as well. That was a bit of a lighter tasting flavour, so mm. I didn't think it was as sickly on that. Mm. Um, so who is this pre-workout for? It's for people who don't prioritise pump, 
who very much prioritise laser focus and a nice consistent energy level. Um, I think that rounds it up really, anything yeah, else? Yeah, so that's a, yeah, a three and a half out of five on road pre-workout. Um, and it, it, this is one pre-workout that, that does um, aim for specific elements of, of pre-workout yeah. nutrition. Yeah. So um, bear those things in mind, you know, use your discretion. What are you wanting from a pre-workout? Mm. All right, guys, three and a half out of five. Tell them how it is, Aaron. Final verdict time on Rogue. Final verdict, here we go. So, um, we always start off with the taste element. Again, not that important, but it, it helps us get these reviews done and you like this bit. Mm. We gave uh, this flavour a four out of five. This is yeah. Bomb Pop. Yeah. Um, you know, not Mixed bad. Mixed okay, there's not much else to say on that front. Um, the pricing factor, without the use of the code we have to stick to. Bear in mind that that use of that code does bring it up, but as for people who are gonna view this in more than a week, it's only fair that we say um, it's a three out of five on price. And the most important part, the effects section, do look at the effects section to find out justification of this, but we also, la well, we landed on a 3.5 out an overall, of five. Yeah. Over, on an overall effects score. And what's the overall score of all three elements? Is a 10.5 out of 15. So a respectable score. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, do look through and use your um, own judgment onto what you want from a yeah, pre-workout, um, because it will suit some more than others. There's no denying that. So, if you like the look of this, use code review twenty percent twenty percent symbol. I'll put it on the screen again, um, and that's going to knock a, a nice chunk off the price. One week only. So, if you like the look of it, you know, don't sleep on that. Um, and that's Rogue wrapped up, really. Yeah, so cheers, guys, for watching. Thanks for sending. Um, yeah, thank you to I Prevail for sending it. Um, as always, guys, um, thank you. And do subscribe if you can. Please do. We, you know, we, we love all our followers. Um, we try and stay as interactive as we can. As we truthful, balanced. Yeah. yeah, just, you know, just giving people what they want. People please as we are. <laughs> um, and I think that has to wrap up the review because we are dead mm. to the world. Mm. But... As always, guys, stay, stay stimmed. 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 Cheers, guys. <laughs> Thank you.